Hi, this is Digital Stereo Guitar. We're going to go over how to tune a guitar. Electric, acoustic, the process is going to be the same and we're going to be doing standard E tuning. There is other tuning out there. If you have, say, a 7-string guitar, a 12-string acoustic, if you want to drop D or drop your guitar down to a low B or a, or a D, for example, uh, there is different tuning available for that. We're just going to go over your standard tuning for an E bass guitar. The tuning sequence will be from the top, an E, A, D, G, B, E, okay? The standard process would be to get yourself a tuner, first thing, all right? You get yourself one of these, or you can get yourself one of these sort of tuners, where it actually plugs into your input, and then in your output. These are more for, uh, I guess, your foot pedals, right? You've got your switch on, switch off, and then you've got one of these, where you turn it on, and you'll actually get a little gauge of what your guitar is tuned at at the moment, and you can tune it based on that. Now, if you don't have a tuner available, there is other ways to do it by ear on how to tune your guitar. Now, if your guitar is completely out of tune or your strings are out of tune, you really need to get a tuner to at least have a starting point. If you know, for example, that maybe a few of the strings are out of tune, there is simple techniques and simple ways on how to tune your guitar. You can do it by harmonics, you can do it by using the fifth string, the fifth fret of your string. So let's go over some of those. So, if I strum a E chord, oh, that doesn't sound very good. So that guitar is out of tune, all right? Oh, I know that that's out of tune because it just doesn't sound right. That's out of tune as well. I don't know about the last two, sort of hard to tell. So let's say the first the first E is correct. All right. If you if you're playing in a band, for example, you may be able to have one of your a keyboardist or if someone can sing an E note if they know how to do that. Um, or you can just find a song that you know is playing in E and you can sort of tune that top string. But you really do need at least one string to be in tune, which is where a tuner would come in. If you're on the fly, how do you do it? So let's say the E is is okay, the E is in tune. So to go and see if your A is in tune, what you can do is on the fifth fret of the E string is actually an A, right? So you can just push that, that's gonna create an A sound. So you know that that sound needs to be the same as the second string. Which sounds pretty good. So they actually sound the same. That and that sounds exactly the same, which is pretty much a good guide to tell me that it is in tune on the first two strings anyway. So let's go to the second string. All right, again, the fifth fret, all right, because that's the A now. The fifth fret is a D. So remember, E, A, D, G, B, E. So the third string down is going to be a D as well. So we go to that fifth fret on the second string, which is a D. Now we know that that's in tune because it was in tune to the very first string. Okay, that doesn't sound right. So that D string, the third string down, is out of tune. And what you want to do is you want to turn the D tuning fork here, the tuning part, to the same sound of that fifth fret on that second string, on that A string, which is also a D. sounds pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. You'll find that with practice, your ear will get a lot better when it comes to picking out the sounds. So if at first it still starts sounding a little bit out of tune, go through the process again and you'll find that you'll eventually get it and you'll get more skilled at it over time. All right, so that first string again. The second string we know is okay. So the first three strings are now in tune. All right. The next string is the G, all right? So again, the same process, fifth fret on that third string down is a G as well. Let's see how that sounds with the next string. All right, that's out as well. That sounds lower, so we may want to tighten it to make it go up.
All right, that sounds a bit better. So again. That sounds all right. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, next string down is a little bit different. It is not on the fifth fret as you have seen on the first three strings. For this one, we're going to the fourth fret of the next string, which is over here. Okay, that's out of tune. So remember, E, A, D, G, B. That's a B string, which means that that fourth fret is a B string as well. So let's tune it to that one. Okay, that sounds like it's higher, so we want to go lower on that string. sounds all right. They sound pretty much the same. And then the last string, which is an E, we are going to go back to that fifth fret. All right, so it's five, 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 four, and then five. All right, so that last one is a higher E. So if I played a nice chord, an E chord, that sounds in tune to me. Now it may be out just slightly, which is where the tuner comes in handy, but by understanding the basic technique on how to tune, that will help you to have your guitar in tune for longer and sounding a lot better as well. So if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.